Hello again. Uh, now it's George's turn to show what he has been up to. Uh, so he was ju not just making uh, sculptures and making sculpture heads, but he's also responsible for mounting the clay and uh, stone sculptures onto their bases. So he casts the bases in concrete and then um, the stones are picked according to which head wants which stone and then they must be assembled. Will you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, uh, we usually start off in the weeks ahead, sometimes months ahead, uh, with small pieces of clay, we make the ceramic heads. And it's very difficult. It's not as if we start off with a definite idea. Mm. Um, How do you mean it's difficult? Uh, in terms of describing it uh, as a specific thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they, they sort of announce themselves. Yeah. yeah. We don't force any face to be what it doesn't want to be. No, no. So it's difficult to, to say what we've decided they must become. Mm. Um, mm. They announce this them. one is a singer, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This one is actually a singer. Yes. Yeah, it's part of that trio. I'm and it's a, uh, there's so many choices uh, in making such a head. There's the expression. You mm. decide on which type of clay you use. Mm. There's the expression, and then the oxides being mm. applied, mm. and shades on the face, and then the glaze. And then the glaze. And the type of clay that you use. So yeah. there's so many options going. And it, it has an influence on the final expression. Mm. So we end up with a number of these heads. And then we go into the felt or uh, down to the river. And then we start looking for stone bodies. Because we found that the stone uh, lends itself beautiful, beautifully for expressing posture mm. uh, and also the emotion and the emotion and it's yeah. amazing yes uh, then you start looking for stones these particular stones uh, we traveled a little bit to get them uh, it's close to Stephen the boulders uh, home and it's right there on the escarpment and it is we call them needle stones uh, I'm not a geologist, but I think it has a very, very high iron content. And it tends, it's on the one hand, it's extremely hard, but it also, it, you have to work very carefully because it's amazing how it can break up, uh, can break clean. Mm, when you drill it. Hey? When you drill not, it. Not handling it so no, much. No, 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 no. But with, with drilling into it. Yeah and, yeah, and so it's this fine balance applying force to drill it into this hard mm. stone but being careful uh, not breaking it and we say um, you don't find these needle stones here close to us just about two three kilometers from here right on the escarpment and there was some geo geological activity millions of years ago and we say it was done so that we can have stone bodies in 2023 <laughs> uh, uh, especially for us especially for us yes. uh, it was done so you have the body and you have the the heads and here we've matched them already matilda and i we've sat i think down. that's the fun part mm. hey? to just see which body wants which head wants which body they really uh, you can't see much now but they really do uh, come alive yeah um, so here you can see the, the concrete bases that we cast there in the molds. This is a small base. We have a larger base that you can see there. And then the small base here. And Skumbuzo helps so much in mounting and grinding and mm. assembling the stuff as well. And to get the right formula was also a process. Yeah, right? for the concrete. It was really uh, so and that it can that be That one stable. looks a bit wet still. These ones are beautiful and dry. You can see how lovely yeah. they look. Yeah. So here you can see a long... So you draw holes at the bottom and at the top and you mount it there on the concrete base. And you can see here, um, concrete base, 
with a stone and it uh, it's interesting you can turn a stone right around and it has a different posture or emotional expression mm. so you play around with it and then with a hole drilled at the top you mount a little mounting pin there and with epoxy so with epoxy you you place the head yeah and it's so beautiful with this almost like a seam that runs here in this mm. It just gives some it stones a... give the impression of movement. Some mm. stones, uh, it's always a find to find a stone with movement. Mm, eh? It is almost like a, a, a dress blowing yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But it's it's just beautiful to see. Um, this is a little bit of a different format, a different type of clay. It's the first year that we've used this grog clay. And it's a very, very nice effect because it has all these cracks. Yeah, these surface cracks, it's beautiful. It's almost like a weathered look. Oh, very, very weathered so look beautifully. that I've made. He holds it like it's not heavy. It's really quite heavy and solid. Yeah, and you can see there's a hole in the bottom. It's for the firing as well, mm. so that air can escape, but also for mounting because this is going to be mounted on this stone almost as a bust and we'll drill a hole and you can see here this is actually this is barrowfield stone but this is granite mm. uh, very very solid but extremely hard so over time we've um, discovered a certain type of drill bit that can do it because ordinary concrete drills mm. Just they, doesn't do they, anything. They can't handle it. Yeah. And heavy drilling equipment, and then hello, sir, and it comes alive. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. So there's a lot of processes yeah. involved, uh, stages that you go through. Yeah. So just to, to finish off in half a minute um, in terms of your expectations and what do you look forward to it's for the music festival? It's always nice to uh, meet other artists, musicians. Uh, we're exhibiting with a painter this year and we're excited about that. Um, and just all the people that we meet there because... As you said in your recording as well, the people who attend the music festivals are people who appreciate art. And you can talk about the art and it's just a very, very nice experience. And it is, it is nice to see Wackerstrom, this small village, so active over mm, that period. Yeah, it really comes alive. Yeah. Everybody pitches in and works hard towards it. Yeah, up till that time. Yes, I really hope we see some of you there and really do drop in for a glass of homemade ginger beer or some coffee or tea. We'd love to see you. Keep well. Keep well.